Money comes from a machine. The government gets money from a machine, and the people get money from the government. I don't know where money comes from. Money can come from the ground. I wish I had one of those machines because I could put a million dollars in my bank. Your kids say the funniest things about money and where it comes from. And it's no wonder. The only thing they've really learned about money is that if they keep asking for something, eventually they'll get it. Children or grandchildren are constantly asking their parents or their grandparents for money, and they want it right now. The lemonade stand came about because we found there was a strong demand and need for children to learn financial responsibility. We all know that values are locked in uh, by uh, individuals, primarily by age 10. And not only in Florida, but nationally, uh, this has just not been addressed in terms of addressing personal finance issues. We've learned that the youth market spends and influences over a billion dollars every year. So obviously, they're not too young to start learning some basic financial skills and some values. Children this age need to understand the consequences of their actions. And that's a hard lesson to learn, but using something like personal finance or financial literacy is a real life connection where they see real consequences, real choices. They don't really understand the value of money. They don't know where it came from. They don't know where it goes. They don't understand that they need to wait for some of the things they want. A budget is a ball. Jobs have nothing to do with money. To get a week's paycheck, you have to work five hours. Some of the things that kids will be learning on the show are basic financial skills, learning how to budget, the basics of banking, savings, checking accounts, learning about ATMs and credit cards. They'll also learn the value of planning, teamwork, patience and responsibility. In the time that I have been conducting workshops, with teachers on financial literacy. I've had multiple requests from elementary school teachers desperate for materials to teach their students these skills. The lemonade stand and the accompanying curriculum will pull all of that together in a fun and exciting, teachable way. We know kids love situation comedies, so it was kind of a natural to go to an education comedy. This way kids would learn while they laugh. Next thing we knew, they were actually applying the things they learned on the show in their everyday life. My six-year-old said that after watching that videotape, she kept telling the other children not to spend money because she wanted to go on the Disney cruise. And then when I was doing landscaping one day, she actually wanted to create a lemonade stand based on what the videotape she had seen. So I really do think that the lemonade stand teaches them great lessons, teaches them about money, and they have fun throughout the whole thing. <laughs> The kids love this show because it's extremely high energy. We have some wacky characters like We have lots of colors and original music and it keeps their interest. Never, never listen to the death master. He will lead you to a disaster. Your money from today will disappear faster if you listen to the death master. The show has already been nationally syndicated. We've been seen in Los Angeles, Baltimore, Minneapolis, San Francisco, Atlanta, just to name a few of them. I believe that having the lemonade stand on public TV as well as being used in the classroom would be beneficial. Then they will be more interested in watching the video in the classroom as it is something that's very special on TV. There uh, have been efforts to reach younger children nationally but it's primarily been through traditional means, and by traditional means I mean uh, traditional lesson plans, print activities, but we know that children uh, want something that's motivating and exciting, and the video series adds that excitement. I would like to see the Lemonade Stand working in elementary classrooms as a vehicle to grab students' attention because, of course, they are so motivated by uh, TV and video games and so forth. So this will be a way of really grabbing their attention and getting vital information across them in a fun way, especially when tied into the lesson plans that go along with it. Working with the Florida Council on Economic Education and their ability to write curriculum, reach teachers and parents and councils across the nation will only further serve our joint mission. We for many years have reached uh, into all 67 school districts in our state 
in both uh, public and private schools. We serve uh, traditionally about a million students a year, either directly or indirectly through curriculum materials or direct uh, products out of our office. And we feel that uh, this is certainly a, a very valuable add-on to our, our program. The lemonade stand can be easily used in any state to meet any state standards because not only does it teach the economic principles, but it also teaches the reading, the writing, the math, the social studies standards that every state has. To reach as many children as possible, you have to remember that every child learns differently. This is why the cross-platform learning is so important. Not only will we be on television and in the classrooms, but we'll have an interactive website for them to go to, an activity column in the newspaper. And before you know it, these kids will be applying the things they've learned in the real world every day. If you think about it, most people are more concerned now about financial responsibility and budgeting. Parents right now may not have the money they had last year to buy their kids a pair of roller blades or a brand new computer. They need to find a way to show their children how and when they can afford those things. We feel that any funder that comes on board with the Lemonade Stand is going to have a great opportunity to help educate the next generation of consumers. Not only to be more responsible, but to help mold their future financial habits. The funders who get behind this project will be part of something great. They'll be visionaries. They're going to be doing something that has never been done before. I have long been an advocate of teaching financial literacy to young children. I believe it is so important to catch them early and teach them those habits that they need to know. I know that they can absorb it. I know that they will keep it for the rest of their life. Sometimes when I ask my parents for a toy, I usually don't get it because it's probably too expensive or there's other things that my mom and dad need. It's important to save your money because you might want to buy a house. My mother and father get their money in their wallets by earning it from their jobs. The biggest mistake that people make with money is they think it's more important than their family. So how much better can it get? We win, kids win, and parents win. So let's take this challenge together because we can make a difference. The job has to do with money is if you don't look at a job, you don't get any money. It's fair enough.